Was it supposed to snow? Well, they were talking about, you know, flurries and sleet. And it looks like in Oklahoma they got something, but on the map it said maybe. And usually Princeton gets it. Because you're that much further north. But Princeton gets something. I don't think anybody got anything. But that's good. I mean, I Yeah, because I wouldn't have came. Yeah, you would. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. mm -hmm. I've still been in bed. <laughs> You might not come to work, but you'd make it to Marshall's. That's the truth. <laughs> and Ross and Target. They would miss me if I didn't come see them. And they, Sam. And Sam. They would miss they would, me. They would miss you. Where's yeah. the chat? Where's the chat? Hi. Kiki. We're Kiki. live. Oh, we are. Are we live on both? Or we're live on YouTube? Live on, on YouTube? both. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> How is everybody? We're actually on time today. Are we? Can, uh, we're can we just let it be known? We're one minute early. We're early. Yeah. I know. Kathy from Columbus. Brian. Oh. oh, Ontario. Vancouver, British Frisco. Sandy from South Africa. Woo. How is everybody? We had a great week. We had a really we great week. Really great week. We Wait, do you mean like nice... Monday and Tuesday? Or you no, mean like the week like since Wednesday? From the last time we okay. were here. I just had to be yeah, because Monday on the same Tuesday page. wouldn't be a whole week. Well, I know that's what I'm saying, but I had to be on the same page so I could say... Yeah, we did, or no, we really didn't. Hi, Julie. Thank you for joining us. San Diego, Virginia. Wow. The we UK. are Hi, Linda. We are in Dallas, Texas, and it is cold and dreary and rainy today, and um, they said that we might get snow, but we didn't, so. And we don't get snow anyway. We get the ice. No, we get ice. I think, though, um, Julie, I saw on Facebook that Ashdown is... They closed school, oh, so they must be getting okay. something up there. I think, and then Marcia said her parents in Arkansas were going to get something. I don't know. I don't know. Just once, I'd like it. I mean, it did a little bit last week. Was that last week? Yeah, but I have a friend that travels full-time, and she's in Florida. She's in Jacksonville, and she was saying that it was going to be 30 degrees out there, and I saw on the news that it really was. The the cold front, would, we, anyway, it's all the way down in Florida, so the people in Florida are colder than we are. Do I they think. even have coats in Florida? <laughs> I mean, you gotta make room in your closet. Yeah. You know. I mean, if you got that many bathing suits, you wouldn't have any coats. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> Today we are doing halos and head coverings. So we're gonna show you everything that you can do if you want to cover your head and you don't want to wear a wig. And um, a lot of people that we see have um, severe hair thinning um, or go through chemo, so they have no hair. So we're gonna show you what the alternatives are. Um, yeah. And because we're in Texas, it gets really, really hot yeah. in the summer, and so wearing a wig with a hat on top of it, that just would be, I mean, miserable. Yeah, it double layers. It actually makes you hotter. So, um, anyway, what do you have on? I have on the Halo Bob, um, which is by, everything we're going to show you is Renee Paris, except for one, and we'll tell you, is a Renee Paris Halo Bob, the shorter one. And it's in garnet glaze. Yeah. They yeah. actually don't make garnet glaze in very much. No, and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I have on the regular halo, which is longer than the halo bob, in marble brown. Yes. So, um, we're going to show you hats. We're going to show you head coverings um, that we carry. Um, and there are things that you can probably get at most places, I would guess. So, um, anyway. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is a lot of our gals here in Texas wear caps baseball caps so that's and they have that opening in the back so if you obviously don't have any hair then putting the cap on you have that opening but these halos all come up high enough to cover that so I'll turn around so you can see so see it shows her hair the halo actually comes about to right there on her yeah I can take it off <laughs> yeah cuz looks cute off yeah so are you ready <laughs> What are we gonna put on next? Oh, we'll do uh, flip side. Okay. Okay. So, this is what a halo looks like. It's a wig with the top cut out. Yeah, and you can see my awful roots. Roots. But anyway, yeah. It's so all of this. The top of your head is where you release most of your heat, and all. So when this is open, it's considerably cooler. Yeah. All right. So this is um, these hats are made by a company called Flipside Hats. They're um, out of Oregon, and they repurpose fabric. So what they do is um, they buy fabrics from all over, and they make hats out of them. And so you can't really ever get the same patterns. Um, 
and they're just oh, yeah. super soft. They are so comfortable. Yeah, they are I mean, comfortable. We sell this to people, I mean, all the time that have hair, that don't have hair, because it is it could be full coverage. Mm -hmm. And it's it doesn't have any knots or ties in the back or the side, so you can actually take a nap in this. Yeah. You could use it as a turban. If a you lot were, of them, they uh, always you know. put something on the underside. A lot of them have like a pattern, but we didn't, the ones that we're showing you today don't have a pattern. But they'll have some really cute coordinating plaid or polka dot or stripe or something. So. And this... That color has, or this style has been our best selling ever. Yeah, it goes with denim. And so when they said they were out of fabric or they were running out, I bought up all the fabric that they had made and had them made. So that hat you can only get here. Um, but the rest of them I think you can get online. Okay, someone just had a question about these halos. They are all synthetic. They are not real hair. We don't do anything human hair in our shop. We only do synthetic. Top quality synthetic. Yes. So, anyway, these are the halos. So, you could do um, the hats, the flip side hats. You could do this with hair or without. Right. Some of them, no. But these, yes. Okay. So, that is one option. What do we do next? Uh, <clears throat> let's do sparklies. I was going to say, oh, I don't have mine. Uh, this is a newsboy. We, okay, if you like bling, and in Texas, everybody likes bling. I like bling, but I don't, this is not a hat I'd probably wear. Um, but this newsboy style is really popular here um, for a lot of women. Um, and it has just enough sparklies to give you a little glam if you're going to a party. This also, without a halo, will give you full coverage. This will actually cover your entire hairline. So these are great for just throwing on to go to Walmart or the grocery store or wherever you, wherever you need to go. And, so. you know, sometimes the hats are get a little snug whenever I have a halo on in this. But this feels good. Yeah, this it's feels real good. It's nice like and roomy. We both have a little, our heads are a little bit bigger and... Purple and red. We should have our picture made. Oh. The sequin sisters. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh, this is really popular for us. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Every time I see myself like this, it cracks me up. One lady came in, and she had already lost her hair from chemo, and she tried this on, and she had been really upset about losing her hair. And whenever she put this on, she just died laughing. Because she said it reminded her of Briar Tuck from Robin Hood. <laughs> and it, that just stuck with me. And I just love it. I love it. Okay, so let's try an Abbey cap. So these are little soft caps. Um, they're pre-tied. So they're already done for you. You don't, um, you don't have to do anything. We're Linda, we are at the southwest corner of Coit and Campbell Road in Dallas. So... This, again, can be worn with or without a halo. You know me. I won't get on this straight. It's not straight. And these have a little bit. If you wear it without hair, it has a little bit. I call it a neck skirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, it has a little bit right down on the neck, and we'll turn around and show you that. Are you having some issues? Yeah. Let's turn you around. So hers will be easier to see because it has a pattern. But this is like the little ruffle, and it has an elastic band. So that comes down. These are super, super comfortable, too. Um, so you definitely don't have to have hair to no, wear it. You could wear it Tons of different colors and prints and patterns and that type of thing. And this tag's really nice, too. Yeah, I like the tag. Am I blinding anybody with my wings? <laughs> we had a, a sequin beret. Did we sell them all? Oh, no, we still have it. Oh, we should have got that because that was really cute. Yeah, that is. Um, and, yeah, these work great with berets. Um and berets were big this year. We had yeah. Few, we had quite a few. I don't think berets have ever really went out of style. Think so. Oh, what is a halo? So, Sharon, this is a halo. It is a wig that they cut the top out. The halos do come with bangs. Oh, look what oh, we got. Oh, she brought it. Um, the bangs, Velcro oh. on. I'll play with this one. Okay. Back. So, they Velcro Thanks, on Alyssa. here. Mm -hmm. And then they're... They can be a little bit tricky. Actually, with the beret, these work great. <laughs> I don't even know how to wear a beret. I'm like, get the beret. I don't even know how to wear it. There you go. A wee wee. Wee wee. We have somebody that joins us from France. Maybe she'll get on and tell me. Well, I was just in France. I didn't see anybody in a beret. Really? I think that yeah. maybe, I mean, was that really a French thing, or was that just like from a cartoon that we just associated with an artist wearing a beret in France? 
Well, beret a cigarette. is, you know, <laughs> if it was an American word, we would call it a barrette. Yeah. And so, anyway, that's like how the, the bangs work. They're a little bit tricky. For people that have bangs that wear their hair up, like for me, I typically always pull my hair back and put it under a hat. So, um, you know, they but they do come with bangs. They're, they're just, they Velcro on. I feel like I need glasses if I have a beret on. You're going to get your little... Um, uh, cigarette thing out from Halloween to yeah it's better with glasses it, it actually is cute with glasses <laughs> oh okay all right what's next uh -oh. oh your bangs her bangs got stuck too okay her body um okay so this is um Bella. a Bella scarf and it's a pre-tied scarf it looks like you tied a scarf but you didn't you just slip it on And, you know, one thing that people do when they come in, they try these on, they pull them way down here like this. Don't close yourself in like that. Always pull it up. You know, you don't have to go all the way up to your hairline, but give your your eyebrows out at least. And so they primarily make these for people that can wear with halos or wear with no hair. But we sell, we've sold these to young girls that have come in and said, that's what J-Lo does. I want that look. I want that look of how J-Lo wears her hair. And so... This is one of the things that Jaylee does. You can wear it on the side. I mean, pardon that bump of my hair. It's my barrette sticking up. But you can wear it on the side or you can wear it in the back. You show them the back. Oh. It's straight inside. So, we, I mean, we have sold so many of these Bellas. Yeah, we do. We do. I mean, it's like all of a sudden we have none. <laughs> we got to order. Somewhere. Okay, I'm going to go through and just respond to a couple of comments. Brenda, we're going to show you sleep caps here in a minute and different some bamboo options that you can cover your head to keep your he head warm at night. Um, typically, when you lose your hair, your body can't regulate like when a man loses his hair gradually. So you lose it all at once. You, learn, you lose a ton of heat out of your head. So we're going to show you some options of wearing without hair that will keep you warm. Hi from California. Hi from Nova Scotia. Um... Yes, Misty is rocking the sparkles. Where's the crystal ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that for Halloween up here one year. I had like this sparkly like turban on. Oh, yeah, you did. These long eyelashes. and I have... Anyway, it was yeah. fun. All right, so let's keep going because okay. we kind of have a marathon of things to show you. So these are the Renee Paris halos. Renee Paris, we told you last week, just came out with new halos. So let's try those on. Okay, these I'm excited about. So the way these are constructed, just so you can see, it's actually a wig with the, I mean, the, actually constructed just like any other machine-made wig, only it's got this band in the front to keep it on. It hooked to my, my wig group. These are made for people with no hair, and since we've got um, hair, it, it's a little <laughs> bit snug on us. I lost my wig grip. Oh, well. Okay, this is the wavy halo bob. This is the first bob that they came out with. It's a little bit wavy. So let's see what it looks like because we have not seen it. Oh, we got it. Okay. That's and maple sugar. Yeah. Hi from Bet. Hi, Betty. She's in Dallas. It's Betty Hayes. Hey, oh. Betty. Chill on, Betty. Ooh, they changed the bangs on this. Okay, we're oh going to show the bangs. He threw that over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Oh. Okay, so, so you this put these is on just cute. like a wig. This is cute. It is cute. It's really full. Um, it's it, it, the bob, the halo bob that Missy had on before was so straight and so sleek. A little, I mean, it obviously needs a little dry shampoo. You know how it is when we first take them out. But it is cute. It I'm is glad cute. they're doing something a little messier because that straight, just. Sometimes, like me, I'm full here, and so I like a little bit more play. This is so cute. Yeah, they did. Vivian wears her with her cowboy wears hers with her cowboy hat. I bet that's cute. I bet it is cute. We don't have a cowboy hat here. We used to have a lot of them. Yeah, we used to. Um, I like it. It's still got it's got movement too. The other one, I feel like it didn't because it was straight to my face well and the thing is not everybody has perfectly straight hair so this is a fantastic option now bear in mind when you're ordering 
when you're looking at halos, they don't do a full color line like they do in the wigs. They do blonde, they do brown, they do red, but they're not going to do every single color. So, for example, in one of them, and it's either Halo or Halo Bob, you can get creamy toffee, but you can't get creamy blonde. I mean, it's... it's but I yeah, don't know. So it's blonde, um, <laughs> and, and most people, because you're not seeing this top part, are pretty flexible on color. Yeah, especially... You do have to be a little bit flexible. Yeah, especially on the, the blondes, because they're not that far apart. Um, and most people are going to be looking at your hat anyway because it's going to be so cute. That's right. That's right. All right. So this is the wavy. Can I try that blonde one? Yeah. You just put these on like a wig. It's a little bit harder, I think, just to get that front part. <laughs> the red hat matches my lipstick. That is exactly what Missy That's said what I earlier. Heard. She was like, "You need to put this hat on. It matches your lipstick." So thank you for thank whoever, you for noticing yeah, and telling me I was right. Well, I don't think she said you were right. She yeah, said she you. did. <laughs> That's the way I'm taking it anyway. This, you know, I can just tell you right now, this is not easy without the wig grip when you have hair. I need to okay, find one. Julie, um, you missed from the beginning. Misty showed that she had a baseball cap on. I'll put it on real quick, and you can see. That the halo goes up high enough to cover that hole in the back. Yep, it comes all the way up here, so you don't look down just a little bit. This is trying, so it covers everything. Nobody can tell that you don't have hair. And this is really great when you're going through treatment because so many people have baseball caps that they throw on, and it gives you an option of using the things that you have at home without buying a whole bunch of stuff because it's all temporary. So. Mm -hmm. um, uh, someone just asked if um, you could put a ponytail with the halos. I don't know. You can't because it's the same thing with the wig. Yeah, You're going to have that line down here, and the cap's going to show. They have made some different, like, things that are supposed to work. I haven't seen anything really yet that looks natural, like a ponytail coming out of a baseball cap. Well, and the other thing is we've seen different um, products. Like it, There's something called it's like a hat with hair. And the hairs attach. Couple comments on that. Number one, they don't start the hair till back here, um, and number two, you can't change the hat. And the hats usually aren't that cute, so you're pretty well locked in. We had but those when I first started. Yeah. And they just they oh just my, the it's hair a great quality, idea. It is, but it just it's a great work. concept. But this is so much better because you can just wear anything with it. Yeah. I mean, because the hat only came in black, which would be fine for me because I wear black every day. Right. But a lot of people don't wear black. Right. So if you're just tuning in and wondering what is going on, this is a halo. Charlotte, I'm glad this has eased your mind. I think you just commented earlier you're about to start chemo, so I wish you well. Uh, there's a lot of good options out there, so um, we'll be thinking about you. And someone asked where they could buy the sparkly hats. Um, if you can't find it local, just give us a call. We can ship it to you. Wait, I wanted to show what happened. What did you do with the bangs for the maple sugar? Oh, they're down here. So what happened when they redid this halo is they made the bangs a little shorter, and they're not so thick. Oh, really? I didn't even really yeah. pay attention to that. So if you wanted to wear, I think they're wearable. Really? I mean, maybe not oh, with a yeah, baseball cap, are. but see, they're, they're much thinner. I thought thinner. that was even cute with a baseball cap. They're much thinner, so you could wear the bangs. It gives you a little bit of face framing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a huge, huge improvement. Okay, let's try. Because, I mean, just on that note, before when we've sold the halos throughout the years, we've cut them, but they have never really cut well because they were a little too thick. And so they just were so, it just was not good at all. Okay, this just made my day. What? Cheryl and Betty are coming in today. Oh, okay. They're going to come see us. Come Sh see us. Cheryl and Betty are so much fun. We love when they come in. They have the best stories when they go on these cruises. They okay. So the other Look how thing, long these things are. Yeah, these are longer. This is um, new for Renee Paris. It's a longer halo, and it's got some layering and a little bit of movement to it. I wonder what it is. Sandy's asking if the halos are adjustable. Yes, they have the same little... Uh, pull tab like a little bra, like a bra strap, strap that the wigs do so yes they are adjustable usually when they come in they're as loose as they're ever going to be until they stretch a little bit buffalo new york has snow oh i'm sure they do. oh yeah. i have a story about buffalo but that's for another yep. show yeah but oh, i could we could like stay in and make some chili verde 
and like hang out, watch the snow, have some good Mexican food. Yeah. And homemade tortillas. You think those are low carb? I don't really think that. Oh, definitely not. But who's counting carbs? Okay. I did think that these two new ones maybe fit a little looser than the original so. ones. I think they do too. Oh, that's cute. And I mean, this was one. This was a definite hole for people that oh yeah had long hair, wanted to buy a long wig, and they were always forced to either buy the the halo, which was so much shorter. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. This is cute. I've got on mocha chino. I don't even know what I have. Marble brown. Marble brown R. <laughs> That's supposed to be rooted. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But you know, know what? It looks different. Maybe you know how the marble brown long root is more ombre. More blended. It, this is more ombre, this. yeah. Um, John Renault makes a long halo. I've just I've never figured out that crisscross top. So yeah. this this is great. Yeah, this is. And it doesn't have a whole lot of hair. No, I it mean, doesn't. Literally, right now, it's all I have it all at the front. Now, Kim has hers all at the back. So you can see, I mean, minus the tag of the hat and <laughs> the tag of that, it's a good amount of hair. It's believable. Yeah, it is. So, like I said, this is all at the front. Oh, you know what? You could do a ponytail with this one. Oh, you sure could. Like a maybe like a little side ponytail would be cute with you the wig. Could, you could even like do a braid, probably. Mhm. Mm you may want to leave just a little something on the side. How many tags are getting on ours? Yeah, this is cute. I think this is. This definitely is, a home run. Yeah, for this. I run. I almost can't wait till spring and summer because I feel like we're gonna we better stock up. And we better stock up. We better stock up. All right. Oh, we got the Cayman Islands. That's where we should go. Okay. We let's could go. sit on the beach with a with one of those umbrella drinks. We don't have to have alcohol in it. Just an umbrella drink. If you're in the Cayman Islands, what's a little alcohol gonna hurt? Oh, it's not gonna hurt. Okay. Um, right. What are we doing next? <clears throat> You want to do the grace? Yeah. Okay. So, um, we figured out a couple weeks ago, um, Gabor makes halos in oh. gray. Uh, Renee Paris does not make them in gray. And I have pointed that out to them. You know what we didn't do? We didn't put the bangs on them. I know. That's just what I was thinking. I was like, I gotta put the bangs. Yeah. Cause these bangs are different. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay. they're longer. I mean, I think you would have to cut them, but maybe not. What I what I was noticing is because they're longer, it actually makes it look like a side sweat thing that goes. It's more in line with the way the layers are cut in that wig. Those work. Well, I'm giving it. But see, when I get them out of my face, you can't really see them. But it does add a little bit more a little face, face framing. framing, but not really a bang. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, Kim, you come see us anytime. We will help you. Kim is says her she's losing her hair, but we will. You know, we'll just have fun. We love it when people come and visit us. Mm -hmm. We do. And we have lots of people coming. We do. We do. We had a sweet couple fly in from Georgia on Saturday. We sure did. Um, a while before that, we had a lady from Houston that just that very morning. And we posted that on, you posted that on Facebook, I right? did. Yeah. That, so if you uh, follow us on Facebook and YouTube and all of that, then um, you'll have seen. We try to post um customers when they allow us to take their picture which we really really appreciate because that way it gives you guys an idea of not just what we're doing but it shows you um what other, on real people other well i mean we're real people but, but other real people yeah real people that don't work here <laughs> <laughs> i don't work here do we work well i work <laughs> i don't know about you well, okay first thing i noticed this velcro is different it's a little i like it it's a little thicker wider but not thicker and so it's it's actually a little thinner it's thicker but thinner it's wider but thinner yeah okay <laughs> I, I i will you interpret just, misty you for you just have to in, know what so I'm, saying. I'm putting on um sugared smoke which is gl 3848 again these are by gabor 
I don't know what I'm putting on. I don't have my glasses on. Can you tell me? I don't have mine on, but it's sugared um, silver in GL5660. Sugared silver. I mean, obviously, okay. And you do not make, need to make an appointment. You come at your convenience. Just bear in mind, there's a whole lot of things to see and do in here. So you just want to make sure that you allow plenty of time. So we usually tell people count on an hour. Sometimes it's more. Uh, the other thing is because we do a lot of customization work, we want to make sure we have plenty of time to get you taken care of. So if you need bangs trimmed or uh, any other kind of services, then we want to make sure that you've got plenty of time for that. This is a little bit longer, I think, than the Renee Paris. That color Halo. is really pretty on you. I don't know if that, do I have it straight? Yeah, this is longer. So mine's more of a um, brown with a gray, and yours is that really pretty white with some a little bit of color to it. Um, um, someone did ask a minute ago if you could tuck behind the ears. It's it's really hard. I mean, you probably could. Well, manage the thing it. is, if you don't have hair, you're always going to want to hide that hairline. So you're gonna you can go back behind the ears, but you've got to leave something down. And yeah, that. And sometimes when you do that, that I mean, work. I actually have my halo down over my ears to because. It makes the hair stick out on me. Um, I never wear my wigs that way, so I don't want anybody to say we told you to do that. But if, let me show you, if I didn't and I pull it down, then it kind of looks <laughs> a little weird. So um, just pull that down on the tip of your ears. But I do that anyway. Um, I want to address... <coughs> Somebody just asked, oh, Diane, you wanted to see more consults. We actually were fortunate enough to have a customer that let us do a consult on Monday morning. So uh, Misty has not posted that video yet, but that will be posted in the next couple of days. So um, we were, I mean, it's it's hard to find people to let us film them. And we're always so grateful when they do because we know that it's really helpful for all of you to see just the process and things to consider and the different styles on somebody besides us. So um, stay tuned for that. And that'll get posted and on Facebook and um, Twitter YouTube. and YouTube. Um, and she's actually going, uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer and about to start chemo. So if you're in the same place as she is, then you can actually see someone who's, is because sometimes it just makes a difference to right. know that you're not alone, which everyone knows cancer is, you know, really widespread, but to actually see how we do it's it's the same so don't feel like you're coming in and you know we're going to single you out because you know you're going through chemo we're not going to treat you any differently right. but just know that we always have something for you yes yes um the baseball cap that misty has on um it it, do, it did come in we carried those hats this it's, it's mine. Her, that's you her personal have hat it. um and we carried those <laughs> several years ago and when she came in this morning she was like we have got to find these uh, we had them in a cute USA print. Anyway, we're going to look for them again. We always uh, sold out as soon as we got them in. They're not, I mean, the price point, they're a little bit more expensive. But let me tell you what, these are good hats. They are good hats. I mean, really good. This, I've never had an issue losing any of the bling. Um, the It's just, they're good. Yeah. yeah so, so stay tuned. I'll post whenever we get them. Yeah. Um, but Because I have faith knowing that we're going to get them. <laughs> Because yeah, I need some more. We're determined. When we're determined to find something, we'll find it. That's okay. Right. Um. So that's ever that's all the halos. So you want to do some just head coverings without um any hair? Yeah. Let's do. Okay. Well, you may, you may have to do it since I I literally have lost my wig grip and cannot find it anywhere. Okay. How do you so do that when the, you don't ever move? These are the bangs that come with it. Yeah. These don't really work well either. I don't think. I mean, I, if someone had a really long forehead, yeah. then it might. But, but the, see, this is what I always notice, is that there's sometimes a space if you turn. Oh, yeah. You know, I, it's just never, I just, and I tell people whenever they come try them on, I take the bangs off immediately and like, these don't work. I mean, because out of <laughs> 10 years, I think I've had like Do you remember two people that the time on. that we did that and we lost the bangs? And like a <laughs> week later, we still closed too, a week later... Some customer goes to try on a shirt, and she's like, um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, the, there's some hair out here. There's some hair attached to it. Oh, now it's really, oh, my goodness, Kim. Uh-oh. That, that was, like, baffling. If Marsha's watching, she's going to Yeah, she'll remember that because we tore the store up looking for those bangs and just 
we figured they fell in somebody's purse or they fell in a bag or they fell. I mean, it, it just, they were gone. But they were attached. They were missing. For a while, they were off having a party. Well, shoot, this Velcro sure works good. It does. I don't even know what I did with mine. Oh, okay. here we go. Okay. All right, so um, what we're going to show you next is the Christine Collection. Christine. Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah. And the Christine Collection comes in bamboo, so it's super soft. These are head coverings that you can wear to chemo, you can wear to Walmart, but they're also things that have no knots and ties in the back, so they're super comfortable for sleeping. They'll keep your head warm. It's a nice option if you're around the house lounging and you want to have your head covered in some way in case someone comes to the door or whatnot. It's just, it's just a great um, accessory item to have. So we're going to start out with the um it's called the shanti turban again it's the christine collection oh somebody pam says thank you she learned to cut bangs while watching me cut your jolie oh yeah that makes me feel better i need a new jolie wonder where i can get one she doesn't need a new jolie Ooh, this is pretty um, one thing I want to point out, if you are about to start chemo or are going through chemo and you're doing synthetic wigs, wear something like this, a cap or something to your actual treatments because you're sitting in that chair for quite a long time and that rubbing on the back of your wig will make it wear out a little faster. And I usually say everyone's there for the same reason, so don't feel self-conscious about sitting there with a turban on your head. Um, nobody's looking at you thinking anything different and you're saving your wig. Right, so. and you want to be comfortable. Okay, so one of the things that they've improved greatly over the years oh, wow. are these sleep caps. For one thing, this is super soft. This I call it pajamas for your head. They're just so soft and comfortable. But they started adding some ruching and some interest up here, so they're not quite so flat as they were. That's a beautiful color. So um, is that. That's but just this different. covers your entire head. Um, some people also will use this as a base and then they'll put a hat with it. So you could even do something like that. Yeah, if you're um, out on the beach or if something. If you're on the beach or, I mean, in Texas, the summer heat, this is another option that you would have. Most people have some sort of a straw hat or this shape in their closet when they've gone to the beach. So this works out great, too. It, it does. This one's really ruched. They do make them with, with their one layer. That might be a little cooler, Well, we've got the same thing on. No, I'm saying this one that we have. Oh, on. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, But it just looks classy. Yeah. I mean, and plus nobody knows if you have hair under there or not. This okay. is comfortable. It is. Like so, it. Well, at least you got it. I mean, how can something disappear when you don't ever move? Well, how many people come in here and say they lose their wig grips and they're just they're just easy to lose. It's it just gone. Happens. Okay, this is called the yoga turban. So this is more of a fitted turban um, to your head, so it's not going to have as much ruching. Um, so it, it will take up less room if you are wanting to pair it with a hat. And they again, these come in prints and. Um, oh, this looks like okay when we first started doing the sleep caps. From Renee Paris, it's the same, same exact pattern. Yeah. These have pleated. You can't see the pleats on mine as well. Maybe you can see them more on Misty's. But again, bamboo, super comfy. <gasps> you could do this with a hat too. This is like a, you well, know, I call it I a almost, yoga turban. Just like, you could wear this to the spa. I almost feel like I might sleep better if I slept in one of these. Yeah. They're comfortable. It is They are very, very comfortable. You know, and sometimes I usually put my hair up in a ponytail and it hurts by the morning. I think this would be cute. You sleep in a ponytail? Right up here, I sure do. Why? Because I don't like turning over and my hair getting in my face. You know, it gets all... I've never had that problem. I don't know what you're doing in your sleep, but I've never had that problem. You don't turn over? Well, I'm not, like... <laughs> <laughs> got my hair all I don't know I don't Linda, know Linda I thought I felt does my wig grip stuck on my back she asked no it's gone it is in the black hole of wig grips I mean I got up and walked around anyway it didn't matter okay so this is another option <sighs> yeah this is thinner so this would be great under a hat too. and then the next one that we have they're different so oh Ooh. I'm gonna put on what's called the Gaia turban Again, Christine Collection. Okay, this is confusing. Yeah, the, the packaging? 
No, th they are different. But um, we did the first one we did was Shanti. This is Shock T. So <laughs> Shanti and Shock T. Oh, Sharon sleeps with her hair in a ponytail too. So thank you. I mean, my aunt used to. This her hair so was down to her pretty. waist. Look at this pretty. Yeah, are you sitting Blue. on your wig? Or did you check that somewhere? Oh else? no. Nope. No. Nope. I'll be sure. Be sure and like, oh, this is, so, I don't know, I just am really into prints right now. Oh, That's this is so one of the ones that they put some more ruching on it to give you more um, height here. Okay, apparently I am in the minority. Why? Uh, Deborah says she hates rubbing on my <laughs> face when I turn over, when that her hair rubbing on her face when she turns over. Okay, I'm asleep like a zombie. This is like totally separate. Oh, maybe it's meant to be a necklace. <laughs> you want necklace? <laughs> you want neck? Okay, that's another show too. That's the other show for whatever I set up was the other show. But this has a separate thing. I don't. I'm not really sure how to do it. Well, I think it just allows you to kind of. I mean, it's not a necklace. <laughs> I know. It's. Is it twisted? What? Well, it's okay. It's made. Okay, it's like a like. <laughs> There we go. You had it twisted. So you could make this thicker or you could spread it out. Have it just like that. It's cute. It is well, cute. Regardless. Oh, yours is cute too. It has like a little. Yeah, but mine's all connected so it's not as confusing as yours. I, I don't think it's supposed to be confusing. I think it was just me. I think probably you're right. Here, put this on because this makes me wait, look way too red. Okay. See if you can figure that out. On the, people are worried about that wig grip of yours. I am too. I just got a new one. <gasps> oh, this one's more comfortable. Pull your... One thing about these, um, pull your earring down. I lost my whole earring. Um, they're thicker. You know what? This is twisted. You're right. Um, Maybe it's supposed to be. I think No, it is. I think it's supposed to be. Oh, oh so okay. you could wear that for an eye mask when you sleep. Oh, good idea. Let's just see. Let's figure this out right now. Yeah, it's got a little twisty knot on the front. It, no. Yeah. 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 It's supposed to be twisted. This is what happens this when you don't. This is like technology. When, this is like when you, like, unbox wigs and stuff. <laughs> and I mean, we've not opened these because we wanted you to see them. And, oh, Brenda found your wig, wig grip in Maryland. you got to go up there and get it. <laughs> Okay. Pam also asked what to do when keeping the back the back of the wig smooth while leaning back in a dentist chair or doctor's table. It's that's just a quick thing, that's fine. But if you're like on a constant chemo thing, then I I would just not wear it. Yeah. yeah. That's right. cute. It is cute. These this fabric is nice, the patterns are nice. Um again, we're a small retail store. We don't sell these online. I mean we'll we'll mail them to you if you want to call and purchase them. But there's not any place where you can see our stock. We're pretty good about if you call. Uh, we'll take some pictures and text them to you. We do a lot of that with people. So if you want us to do that, give us a call. We Nine. do, but it may take a little while. Right. Be patient. Or email. Yeah, I mean, we, we both are flooded with email and YouTube and Facebook comments, and we get to them as fast as we can, but sometimes it takes time. But if you email and you want us to email you pictures or text you pictures, we'll be happy to do so. All right, now the last thing we have is Misty's going to show you one basic way to tie a scarf um, on me that um, it's, is not pre-tied. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to put it, I'm gonna, we showed you this earlier, but I'm going to show you, if you didn't have hair, how it does give you full coverage. So I'll wear this while I'm tying your scarf. Yeah. Um, so what we purchase here, these are 30 inch by 30 inch cotton scarves. They're made by a company called Anoki, A-N-O-K-H-I. Um, and they're the best ones we found. 30 inch by 30 inch square cotton scarves are difficult to find. Um, they don't slide like the silk ones, although you can wear your wig grip with a silk scarf and that will keep it from sliding. Um, but a typical bandana is 24 inches by 24 inches, so um, it's not quite enough material to 
tie and give you a cute little tail. So Unless your head is like child size. Okay, this is really simple though. It's it obviously easy to do on someone else, so you may have to practice a couple times. But what I do is start with just folding it diagonally. You don't have to do it all the way in the middle because then you get a longer tail. But you're going to do that. And now um, we're just going to turn Kim this way so you can see. And then you're going to put it on. I'll let you put that at your forehead. All right. Now at this point, you're just going to take your tails and come straight back like you're tying a do-rag. And kind of snug it up. Then um, we'll turn around and then you can kind of adjust it where it needs to go. You always, it's more flattering if you cover just the top of your ear and leave the rest of this out so you can still see your earrings and all that. But it just is, it's a better angle. You may come just a smidge more out. So, we've done our one tie, snugged it up, now that we got it where we want it. Now, there's this middle piece. If you raise up the middle piece and then just tie another knot down here, it keeps you from getting, okay, now drop it. It keeps you from getting one big knot and then you have this cute little like flowerette thing. And if you don't want to wear the tails, at this point in time, you can just come over here and tuck it up. And it kind of gives you a little rosette kind of thing going on down there. So that's if you don't want to wear anything but the scarf. And you can do that with a halo. It might, you know. You can always turn it to the side too if you want a little side thing. And then you can add a hat. And this is usually what we tell people in the, um, in the summer heat. If they have a pool party this is what you want to wear. You want to do room. the cotton scarf um, in the Texas heat. This is the coolest option you have for any outdoor activity, whether you're going to the Rangers game or you're going to with that. the pool party. Um, and this is a cute look. Um, so it works. Okay. Leah says she likes my hat. Oh, it's a cute hat. It's if cute you missed the you. beginning, this was our best selling flip side hat ever. And, and look at it with your eyes. Makes your eyes look all blue. Yeah, so if you want it, you got to call us because you can't get it anywhere else. And we're down. I mean, we had a, a lot of them Wait. made, but we're down. So if you want it, you better call. Yeah. Um. Okay. That was kind of like a head covering marathon. It was. It was pretty lengthy. It's, we've been on like 40 minutes. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. So thank you guys for sticking with us. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And I hope this was helpful. Again, if you have questions, send us questions. We answer as quickly as we can. Follow us on, we're on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, one other thing I wanted to say is we showed you a basic way to tie a scarf. YouTube is a tremendous resource. If you have scarves at home and you want to know how to tie them, just mm -hmm. put in YouTube how to tie a scarf, and there are tons and tons of resources for you. So, yeah, a lot of times just those regular long rectangular neck scarves make beautiful turbans. Yeah, and use what you have at home. Don't overbuy. I mean, when, it, when you're going through chemo, it's temporary. So... Uh, look in your closet and see what you haven't worn and um, watch YouTube and you'll come up with some pretty cute stuff. And I'll put the description of the halos and the colors that we tried on in the description box. Um, someone asked for our email address. I'll put that in there as well. Otherwise, I mean, you can just go to our website and contact us from there um, or go to our Facebook page. I mean, you can find us pretty much everywhere now. But we just appreciate you guys so much. Yes. And come see us. Have a good week. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I'm not ready. Not yet. The mouse the is mouse covered. The mouse got buried. <laughs> <laughs> and here and now. I'm, okay. Okay. I'm getting there.